Hi, I'm Cassie with Pre-Collegiate Programs, and we have another video here for you today. Today, we are going to use a chemical reaction to make some tasty honeycomb candy. Join me. All right, you're going to mix your sugar, water, and honey. You do not have to mix the ingredients if you don't want to. In the saucepan, they'll kind of mix themselves as a foil. Now you see I have my candy thermometer in there. You're going to let this boil until it reaches 300 degrees Fahrenheit. For me, that took about 10 minutes. You can see here it's boiling and bubbling and becoming kind of an amber color. So it's exactly what you want. You want to be sure you're keeping an eye on the thermometer because if it goes over 300 degrees, you could burn the candy. And that's not what we're looking for today. All right, I'm just about at 300 degrees. So as soon as I reach it, I take my baking soda and I pour it into my saucepan and then I whisk it up. You want to stir it just enough to mix the ingredients and then you'll pour it onto your greased baking pan. Now you see my baking pan, I let it cool and then once it's cool you just take a wooden spoon and start hitting it. You just want to break up your candy into small bite-sized pieces. And there you go. So the chemical reaction happens when we add the baking soda to the hot syrup. We're trapping the bubbles of carbon dioxide in the candy, which is how you get those little honeycomb bubbles. Isn't that awesome? Thanks for joining me today. We made some delicious honeycomb candy and created a chemical reaction from with the baking soda. Keep following along to keep learning with us. Bye.